Hello everyone, I am Bethany Almeida. I work for Fio Cruz at the Center for Data Knowledge Integration for Health, CDAX. In this presentation, I want to share some considerations based on our experience with data linkage and data governance using administrative data for public health research purposes. The talks that I'm going to talk about today are administrative data, data linkage, public health research purposes as a specific context of personal and sensitive data processing. And uh, then I will share with you uh, final considerations. Administrative data sets include information on everyone who comes into contact with governmental or public services. The data is reflective of a specific population and it's not a selective sample from a given population. This is very important in epidemiological studies as it provides a representative and well-characterized population. The advantages of administrative data in comparison to the population-based service traditionally conducted in epidemiological studies include much larger sample sizes, an inherent longitudinal structure due to collection over time, and better quality of information. This kind of data differs greatly from data generated by the academic community, which is generally limited in scope collected over a defined period for specific purposes, and usually entails the provision of consent for primary and secondary use. Since administrative data sets are considered big data, methodological aspects related to treatment and analysis also need to be taken into account to ensure data quality and accuracy, among other aspects. At SEDAX, linkage between administrative database and information from public health services makes it possible to evaluate the effects of public policies on health outcomes, such as impact a conditional cash transfer program on child mortality or a low-income public housing program on tuberculosis. Since the data in question will be used to produce knowledge, data preparation and application of linkage methods are crucial. Epistemology and ethics becomes closely intertwined in studies supported by big data. From the perspective of collective interests, considerations in the area of public health have prompted the passage of laws that regulate data protection when processing personal data for specific research purposes. These laws are designed to provide appropriate measures to protect fundamental individual rights, privacy, and confidentiality in accordance with ethical research standards. Administrative data as a type of big data requires comprehensive privacy and access policies. Responsible data governance also entails transparency in data processing and analysis methodologies, as data can be used as evidence in decision making, both in public policy and scientific applications. Algorithms are powerful and important resources that cannot be separated from causal explanations due to the risks of making decisions based only on automated results or predictions. The predominant roles of the scientific method is thus to validate and increase the reliability and usefulness of results. We believe that discussions on linked administrative data governance for public health research purposes present opportunities to address inherent ethical and social dilemmas. Clear and transparent terms and conditions must be applied regarding the access, sharing, and use of both original and linked administrative data sets for public health research purposes. I would like to thank you all to the team, especially our directors and people from data production, data architecture, and data curation. Thank you so much for your attention. 